Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Medal of Honor Ally Assault Spearhead. Um, I finished, we last finished the mission which involved the Americans in the Battle of the Bulge. Now the last mission is going to be with me helping out the Russian forces in Berlin. So let's get started. Although the enemy has taken a beating on most fronts, they refuse to end the war quietly. This suits the Russians just fine. Georgi Zukov, the Soviet general, is planning a major offensive to crush Berlin itself. Our side will back them up with air cover and ground support to the west. Once the Reds roll their T-34s across the Oder River and into Berlin, I doubt they'll leave much standing. From what we've heard, the Soviets have their own heavy axe to grind with the Fatherland. Something about 20 million dead. It's no longer a question of if the Germans are defeated. The question is when. Sergeant Jack Barnes, April 1945. And the Soviets, um were hit hard by the Germans. They got within my only a few miles of Moscow, but the, the Russians were able to push them back because uh, with help from Russian winter. Now, a lot of people don't really seem to remember the fact, though, that the Russians and the Germans started a war against Europe together as allies, but um, Hitler did not like the communist regime, so he, uh, he turned around and started attacking them, too which was a big mistake on Hitler's part. And even though he made a strong, uh, the Blitzkrieg was successful at certain points during the time of Russia, they finally pushed him back and they were the first to enter Berlin. And then you know what happens if you remember the Cold War, half of Berlin was um, communist, the half, part, uh, half of it was democracy. Berlin, heart of the German Empire, zero for thirty hours. You think today will be our day? Who knows? Stalin wanted to take Berlin even last month. To him, it's all равно, how many of us are here. You saw the new T-34s? The guys were talking about them. Serioka said that he was already in the car. Is it true? Maybe he went into the wall. Barnes, where are you going? Stay in your planes went down inside the city. Okay, I wanted to do that so that way I could tell you guys about the weapons here. This is the Nikit revolver. It was a standard issue revolver for the Russian forces. They used basically, they're not exactly the size of Russian rounds, but they were pretty close. They were pretty big ammunition there. This is the Mosinaga rifle. I hope I'm saying that right, but this was a long used Russian ri a rifle. Um, since 1891 all the way to 1998, I believe, it was used in the Korean War and the Vietnam War and big supply. I also have a sniper rifle, which is a semi-auto SVT-40. Fairly good rifle design uh, that has a 10-round clip, pretty much similar to the Gavir and with the same accuracy as the um, M1 Grand. This is the PPSH submachine gun. It had a drum magazine. It was in short bursts, it was actually pretty accurate and it had a, a high rate of fire. And then I just get the standard Russian grenades. So, this has a long reload though. Right. Ah, uh, can't get the health there. Berlin was so bombed out this time. Of 
probably should equip the uh, the SVT. I have to be careful because there are snipers all over the place. Get an ass up there. Yeah, something about sticky bombs I was not sure about. Oh. Oh. Oops, that's my fault. Got the, the since it's raining, the fuses tend to fizzle out. So, um, the sticky bombs. Now, I'm not sure exactly how powerful they were. Um, what they showed there is, I think they were good at taking out tanks. The, uh, um. But I think that the, the sticky bombs are mostly designed actually to blow the treads off of tanks because um, if the tanks had no tread, uh, the treads were taken off a tank, that tank is pretty much useless. If it's immobile, it's a standing, a sitting target. Remember correctly, there's snipers all over here. That worked out well. I think that was a panzer. Or maybe not. Huh. Sorry. Another mortar. their own weapons against them.
I really understood how mortars work, but I don't think it'll work. So. I don't know how one of those guys died. I don't think I shot him. That's why sometimes camouflage actually works. Why am I not hitting it? Good. Reconnaissance. Okay, locate the Chancellor rebuilding. Let the tank come in. Got myself some extra stuff, but now in real life, he would have disappeared, <laughs> he would have been gone. If you see a MG42 just sitting there, you know that you're going to need to use it at one point. The recoil on this thing is uh, immense. It's like firing a howitzer. What was that from? Staging bases, I guess. Looks like they were playing cards. Where was that from? Truck's coming this way. Yeah. 
Just to make sure he's fully down. I think that fully insured it. I don't like this SVT sniper rifle too much. It's the the recoils makes it a lot harder to use. Uh, I see his helmet spinning there. Okay. This city is just a shell. Those are my things. Maybe not. What the hell? How come I couldn't get them? That doesn't make any sense. I'm hitting him directly with the Flak 88 that should take out the things fairly quickly. There, that worked. Okay, like this safe containing list of double agents. Oh yeah, double agents, so that way they could find the ones that were there and eliminate them. Oh, I went in full circle. I guess I'm supposed to go in here. 
Okay. Now this is where I could use the PPH to my best of the abilities because close quarters. I had to look for the combination to the safe now. Don't think it's out there. I didn't hear the conversation they had. They've got a T-34. So I take it the next mission is going to be me driving a T-34. Okay, this let's play has gone on for a bit long, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.